Hi everybody, I'm so excited to be doing today's video for you. We have some really exciting things lined up today. I'm gonna start with flowers this morning, and of course I've got to pop into work, and then I'm gonna do a little bit of a special afternoon. So this afternoon I have booked in a personal shopping session, so I'm very excited. And in between, I actually have some very cool unboxings to do. Very exciting for me is trying on a couple of outfits from matches that I ordered for a specific dinner party. Now I've ordered four and I'm only gonna keep one, so you guys are gonna have to decide with me. And then today is, of course, as you can see, a filming day, so there's a couple of bits of filming that I need to do for Instagram. So I'm gonna do those in between. And then hopefully at some point, you guys will get to see my kids. So it is a full day, but a beautiful day. And I'm really lucky and grateful to be doing this for you. We're also, I forgot, going to be doing a super table setting for you today, um, hence my big flower market shop uh, this morning. If you haven't subscribed, then please do. I love sharing my journey with you and having you in my home. It's such a pleasure and I hope you're enjoying it too. There are three really easy steps to all floristry I have found in my experience, not that I am a florist. If I'm doing um, a single sort of vase for, I don't know, the middle of the coffee table or living room, I love the way a round vase just sort of gives extra elegance and glamour to the whole look. Um, but you know, you can choose anything you like, to be honest with you. When I am doing the floristry, I do like to use a Lazy Susan. I'm really lucky because I found a beautiful one. You can find them all over the place, but you don't have to have one. It just helps me and makes my life a little bit easier. When it comes to setting a dinner table, you can either go with streamlined vases that are basically all the same shape and size, but I love to go for a varied range. So if I am I'm doing you know lots of different sizes and shapes I will try to stick to um, the same type of vase so I've got glass vases here and to be honest they've all come from different places but they're all glass vases so at least I've kept something streamlined within those different heights but I do like to have uh, you know different thicknesses um, different levels because I think that really adds interest on the table and if you are going for a little bit of a sort of wild look, it works even better. I like yellow shoes. And look, they go with my outfit. So I'm gonna try them on. Oh, they're lovely. Definitely having these. <laughs> they're so nice. Ta -da! It's beautiful. Oh, I love it. I know, but where, uh, should I wear that to the office? <laughs> I love this one, by the way. You don't love it? It's a bit over, overly frill. Too many frills? Yes. You said you like black? Yes. It's not nice? No. No. I like black dress. Too many frills. I could do that with a white t-shirt. You just want me to wear a ball gown. I don't want to wear a ball gown. Where am I gonna go wearing a ball gown? I've got nowhere to go. Or this one, this is good for the office. Office, that's really nice guys. It's actually super nice. No, I think you should try this on. 
I think you should try it on, I'm not joking. I wouldn't mind wearing this. Look, why don't we, oh God, why don't we go into the office? You wearing the big dress and I'll wear the green skirt. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not kidding. I think we should go and do some twinning, Alessia. Let's twin. Let's go, but this is too puffy. It's like a ball gown. You can't go to an office like this, can you? No, if you wear some. White shirt. Yes. So like this, and I don't mind wearing this. Let's do, let's do it. We just need a white shirt. You wear the dress, Alessia. I'm gonna wear this. Oh, I love it. I'd look so cool. Yes, okay, let's do it. It looks beautiful with this, but now it looks like an outfit, a, a dress. Look. No, no, no. I think with white, with white, white. Okay, then I'll wear it with a white shirt. No, the white shirt, look. Why can't I wear this with this? Oh, it's pretty. No, yes, no. Or this with white skirt. Or that with a white skirt. Okay, so I said today would be fun and this is definitely one of the funner parts of my day. I'm going to do some unboxing and the reason I'm doing three branded unboxings is because I wanted to see, to be honest with you, who did the best packaging and I love packaging. I love beautiful things and I also think that the delivery of those beautiful things is very important. So let's get going. First of all, I went to Joe Malone and they always do great packaging. So we've got some gorgeous black ribbon, some tissue paper, of course. And I like black tissue paper. I think it gives it an extra edge. Oh, and then I don't know if you can see what I can see in the box, but even the way it just sits there is gorgeous. So now let me pull it out. Try and do this elegantly, but never really works. Beautiful box. It's beautiful that it's a circular shape. It's such a lovely way to present. And then here we go. I've got the diffuser. I mean, that is very, very pretty in this really lovely ceramic pot. And just to show you how elegant that was. Okay, so we've got Jo Malone sitting over here. I'll actually pop that on the top just for you to see. And then we've got these lovely diffuser sticks. And just even the way this is done is beautiful. So they put it in separately and they've got that in a lovely plastic. So, I mean, the plastic isn't so lovely, but it's, it's nice that it's separate um, and put together with everything else. I think the packaging says a lot. And I love the way it's not white or black. I really like the fact that it's in this lovely cream color. And then, Oh, I mean, look at that, it's gorgeous. Love the candle. This is green tomato vine scented candle, bougie parfum. Oh, I didn't break it. <laughs> there it is. I think this is one of their special um, collections, special edition collections. I'm not gonna get that all out now because I think I'll make a mess, but there it is in its fabulousness and it is beautiful. I love that packaging, and to be honest with you, that is a good 
nine for me. I don't think it could have been much better than this. I think, um, you know, they just did a great job. So fantastic. Harrods, of course, with its beautiful green bag. And if I open this up, I won't tell you what I bought. I'm gonna let you wait and see. So this is, well, you can see it now from Waterford. I like, um, I liked that packaging actually. It's very simple and elegant, a really lovely navy um, linen type paper. And so that goes in there. And then I do love the way Waterford pack. Um, these are glasses. I needed some extra glasses because um, we broke a set. So here are some more. And you've got this really lovely foam on top, of course, to protect the glass. And that's the way that's been packaged. So really, really pretty. And it just beautifully shines. I'm not sure if you can see that very well, but it's gorgeous. Very close one with Waterford. I'm not sure what more they could have done. Oh, sorry, that's gone the wrong way. Not sure what more they could have done with the packaging. It's so elegant. Um, their logo is gorgeous. I mean, possibly some tissue paper, uh, maybe, but I mean, it is lovely and of course, very, very elegant. I love Waterford, super glamorous. Okay, so that is our Waterford from Harrods. Put that down over here. And then, where is my last bag? Oh, of course, D1. How could I forget? I mean, this has to be the best of the best because the packaging is just phenomenal. So it's quite heavy, so I'm gonna have to turn this around. Oh dear, got things flying. I mean, it doesn't get better than this. <laughs> That's phenomenal. And you want to almost do this really slowly, but I won't, because I don't want to bore you. Beautiful box. I mean, the most beautiful boxes. Everything is all over the place. And what's lovely isn't just the tissue paper, of course, but the stickers that they've got sticking that down and the fact that they are transparent. Just beautiful, so elegant. And of course they've pleated their tissue paper as though tissue paper wasn't enough, which is gorgeous. And then they've of course had to put lots of bubble wrap on. So I'm gonna use my not very elegant scissors to get these out because these are my flower scissors. Here we go. So within the bubble wrap, which isn't very elegant, we then have more tissue paper. And again, beautifully wrapped and look at that. Now that's stunning. Can't wait to use these. I have just received my very special box. Now, I kind of know what's in here, but I'm going to share it with you because of course I don't really know what they look like. So here we go. I always love buying from this particular shop and the first part is not elegant. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. <laughs> it's massive. Right. Talking about packaging. This is a gorgeous box and how lovely that it matches my outfit. As you can see, this is from Matches and I love the packaging. Okay, where shall we start? This is so much fun. This is the first one. Now I actually have this in a shorter version. It's a self-portrait dress, but I really loved the idea of having a long one and being able to wear it for a dinner party. So um, this is option A. And I'll just put that aside. Then we've got, oh, I've loved this for ages, but when they had the longer version, I loved it even more. So they've got a shorter version of this. This is Zimmerman, and they do actually have a short version, but I thought it was a little bit too short for me. Um, so I like the long one, and I feel it looks really elegant and perfect for a summer dinner party. Then I have, whew, 
I don't even know the name of this. Ah, I know, it was a really, it's a new brand and it's called, a very odd name, it's <laughs> called The Vampire's Wife. Um, and I thought it was really pretty. I can't tell whether it looks like a tablecloth or it actually looks really lovely, but I'm hoping it won't look like a tablecloth. Okay, and the next one, this is the star of the show. And actually, this is from the same brand that I'm wearing now. This is from Aridem. And it is absolutely gorgeous, but it kind of needs its own movie. This is, this is massive. Um, and it also looks like I've got to be another 10 foot tall to wear it. So clearly I've got to um, be taking that up if I do want to wear it. It's so, so long. Um, which is fine, but it is very long. Now, I know it looks really like a big robe, but it actually is very, very elegant, and it's supposed to be really loose and just off the shoulder. So I love this, and I absolutely love this designer. Now you just got to see me choose. Okay, so I just wanted to show you how easy it is to use a different plateware set with exactly the same setting. Now, I think I might even prefer this. These are the Dior plates, the Lily of the Valley, and I just wanted to try them out with my current setting, which is really beautifully, um, we did in greens and whites, and then we added some yellow candles. And the candles can be such a big factor in changing the whole of the look. So I've paired them with this new Lily of the Valley set that we got from Dior, and it honestly looks splendid. So I can't wait for you to see the whole look. You're probably seeing it now. And good luck with this. It just shows you how easy it is to change a couple of napkins and keep the same flower arrangement, and you can do this yourself. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you guys want to see more of the type of content that we did today, please let me know down in the comments box. And if you feel like you want to see something else or more of something, then again, let me know. And I can't wait to see you again.